Hi, this is Zach here, and I'm demoing uh, my control systems for uh, my quadcopter drone that I'm hopefully going to be building. Uh, right here, I have two joysticks, uh, the two axis multi-directional joysticks. They're uh, they're uh, used by uh, A to D. Um, so there's four A to D channels for eight, for the the four axes of those. Um, right now I'm using a PIC 1507 because it has four um, PWM channels, uh, which is what powers the lights. Um, so you can uh, increase and decrease the intensity of the lights by changing the PWM signals. Um, eventually I'm probably going to be moving to a, at least a 1509 um, because the 1507 doesn't have built-in... Um, communication systems, it doesn't have UART or SPI or I2C, and um, eventually um, this is going to be done remotely, so I'm going to have to communicate to the the 1507 or the 1509, you know, what the PWM signal should be, and so uh, this, the 1507 really is not an adequate chip for, uh, for, for doing that uh, efficiently. So right now, uh, this right joystick has two functions. Um, the first function is uh, if you go up or down, it increases or uh, decreases the uh, the overall base power of the motors. Um, this is a quadcopter, so there are four motors. Um, uh, now, in a quadcopter, two of the motors rotate uh, counterclockwise, and two of the motors rotate clockwise, and uh, and the, the two motors that rotate in the same direction are on the same axis. So uh, in order for a quadcopter to, to, to have yaw or to, to pivot um, or twist, you simply need to decrease, uh, decrease the speeds of the two motors in the same axis so that the torque of the other two motors can, can twist the robot. So you can see that by twisting to the left and right, you... Uh, you increase the uh, the spin on on one axis and decrease the spin on the other axis, and that will create the the spin of the uh, the vehicle. Uh, the right one is for moving forward, backwards, left, and right uh, while not spinning. Um, in order for a robot or for the vehicle to to, to travel in one direction. It uh, it'll decrease the speed in one in one axis, one side of an axis, while increasing the speed on the other side of the axis, which you can see from this demonstration. And uh, by doing that, you can control um, where the robot is or where the the helicopter is going. So so again, increase, decrease, spin spin, rotate, and this is travel in each direction. So in the future, this is, uh, you know, the, the joysticks are going to be in a remote that's going to communicate via, via RF uh, signal, uh, serial RF signal, that will uh, be read by the helicopter and uh, the PWM will be generated on the helicopter. Alright, thank you.